long ago. You know, Coach, after a game like that, just what's your message to, to your team? You know, obviously the, the score didn't work the way we wanted it to. I told them a couple of things. The, the point of a non-district game is to come in and find things that we're good at and find things that we're not good at so that we can rightly uh, prepare, that we can uh, sharpen the things and hang our hat on the things that are good and, and fix the things and work on the things that are not as good. And uh, playing a team like Lovejoy, they're really talented. They do a great job uh, overall, and they, they expose some stuff enough so that we've got to get better. But what I liked is that we came out in the second half. We didn't just decide to shut it down. We came out and continued to fight and battle with the idea that we want to improve, that our next outing needs to be better and our next one even better so that by the time we get to district, we're playing a lot better than we did tonight. You know, you guys started strong in that first quarter, but did it, did it kind of feel like deja vu to last year where <laughs> things kind of got away from y'all a little bit in the second? Sure. You know, they're a talented team and they, and they do a good job and they're well coached. And I think that that they stayed uh, the course of what their game plan was. And, uh, you know, it, it did kind of get away from us there, especially at the end of the first quarter and beginning of the second. Um, and we'll, we'll fix that. You know, Livingstone, you guys knew he was going to be tough to cover. Just is that one of those deals where you, you kind of have to tip your cap, <laughs> but also, you know, there, there might have been some some things you guys did wrong too? Sure, absolutely. And, and you know, some of the times when when the opponent is successful, it's because they're good. It's because they have a good scheme. It's because they're coached. Um, and, and hopefully we get those same things back at us. So we've got to figure out a way, obviously, to cover good receivers, to cover, uh, to get pressure on quarterbacks, uh, to stop the run uh, uh, better than we did on defense. And we've got to find the way to continue drives. We had a couple of drives stall out on fourth down and uh, can't have that happen. Yeah, you know, it, it seemed like you guys had a hard time kind of finding your footing in the ground game. Just what were you seeing from, from what they were showing you guys or what you guys may not have been able to execute? Sure, I think they do a really good job up front, and I think they do a good job of staying lateral and filling the gaps with their backers. They keep keep blockers off their backers, uh, which, which makes things, of course, difficult. Um, and, and those things kind of – they kind of build like when the when the run game's working well, then things start opening up and we have more opportunities. And uh, when we when we do have trouble finding our footing, it can be tough. You know, on the flip side, though, it seemed like Arrington was making some some pretty decent throws and in, in some you know tough situations. Just what'd you make from his night tonight? I, I thought he released the ball well. I thought he released it quick. Uh, obviously, we need to complete a few that we didn't complete uh, and, and work a little bit on our pass pro, but but I think we had some time. Uh, they do a good job on, in the defensive secondary as well, and that's what they get from, from covering talented guys in practice. Uh, so that, so it, there's a lot of promise from what we saw tonight. You know, at the end of the second quarter, you guys were knocking on the door to, you know, keep it a mm -hmm. two-score game. Just how tough was that sequence with Aiden kind of coming up with cramps and then Arrington getting the interception? Sure, yeah. Well, obviously that's not the way you want to end. And, and hindsight's 2020. Should we should we kick a field goal and get some points? I don't know. Easy to, to look back on that. Uh, but it was a good opportunity for us, and their defense uh, stood the test. And and we've got to we've got to be able to score points in those situations. Coach, as Alex mentioned, Arrington Aiden went down at the end of the first half, but then Wilson and then even Connor Cashin stepped up. What is having that kind of depth, you know, this early in the season? What does that kind of show you about your team, especially going into a bye week before another tough test yeah, against them? Absolutely, Temple? and and with uh, warm conditions and eating, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go so fast that we cannot rely on one guy uh, carrying the ball. We've got to rely on a group of guys, and the same thing with the receiving court. We can't rely on the same guy to run a go route, sprint back at the pace we want to go, and run another go route. We've got to have confidence in those. Uh, backup guys really um, more of just like a, a, a true fourth of guys rather than a first string and second string just getting guys in and, and we do have confidence in them and, and obviously I think Wilson did a good job and Connor did really well at the end as well. Tale of two halves you know lopsided score in the first half but you come out you mentioned not giving up 21 to 7 in the second half what do you see from your defense and your offense that you know you can build on going into this sure week? so it, so at halftime you know we talked about the past we can't go back and play the first quarter again the first quarter is over so our options are we can go get on the bus and go home now or we can come back out and try to have a great second half and i was going to choose the second one and, and i think our team did as well and, and i think those are lessons that carried over from our team from last year and really are valuable in life you're going to have a period that doesn't go so well can we can we bounce back from that now in this case we dug a little bit too much of a hole and couldn't bounce all the way back but uh, the spark the uh, the fight the the desire and drive to continue to fight is is huge
And I heard, I heard you in the post game mention, you know, having a good opponent that can show you what you need to work on. You know, not trying to look too far ahead, but you do have Temple, another state power, traditional sure. power. What does scheduling these kind of games early on the season do for you, going into district play and hopefully another deep run into December? You know, th these games are are not important as far as seeding in the playoffs or, or necessarily getting us to the playoffs, except in the sense that this is where all that growth is coming. And so we're winning future games by playing challenging opponents now. And that's what I believe and that's what our coaches believe. And we want to we want to be tested. If there's something that we think we're good at, we want to put it to the test against the talented team and see if it's worth anything. And if there's a place where we need to be exposed, then, then we would definitely rather see that now than uh, later on in the season when it's a district game that may cost us a, a spot in the playoffs. Without trying to psychoanalyze too much, <laughs> it seemed like there was kind of a quiet confidence. Not that there was not confidence last year, but based off knowing how last year went, sure. that even when they fell behind and, you know, some of the first string guys were sitting out, it's just like, okay, put this behind us, move on. Did you kind of get that sense too? I, I did, and I think that's good. I, we want our guys to be confident. We want them to be humbly confident uh, by trusting in the things that they are good at and that they've worked on. So the, the confidence comes from, from practice. The confidence comes from we've done this play a thousand times, and sometimes it doesn't work. But we need to do it again because it's actually something we're pretty good at. And and I think that having kind of a 1-0 and mentality on a play or a series, it's like we can't change the past. We do need to get better from the past to learn from the past, to have a better future. Uh, and and I, I thought we saw that in our kids. And how much more confident do you feel compared to where you were 12 months ago, specifically in terms of knowing what you have to work with? Because I know <laughs> I probably this time at the end of the game last year, you had a lot of questions. It seemed like you all had to sort out throughout the season. But it seems like... Y'all know, from our standpoint, where those are going to come from a little bit more. Sure. So this time last year, we did have a lot of question marks. We had uh, positions where there were still battles going on. We weren't sure how those are going to play out. And, and really, everything should always be a battle. It's athletics, and we need to compete for those spots. Uh, but definitely having uh, returners at a lot of positions, especially offensively, uh, allows for some more confidence and it allows for some more opportunity for those other guys the, the younger players to learn from them uh, to spell them when they need to do that thank you coach Absolutely.